trying to do a thumbnail, y'all. I don't know how. Okay. Hello, my lovely viewers. Today, I got my syringes in. So, we are going to learn how to um convert this printer over to a sublimation printer okay so this is what came in the package um the syringes where you can see and also these little little needle things that will go on the syringes I have all four and then it came with four of these and i think i paid like 30 dollars for this little set and i it also came with this which i really don't need it i just ordered it because i needed the uh syringe okay so now we're going to prep to get this ready i'm so interested i don't think i ordered this but i don't think it is gonna even fit i don't even if I did try to replace it, I don't think this would be the right one. It don't look like it. But, okay. So, it also came with instructions. Filling ink. But I don't think I need those instructions. I think um, we're just going to open this. I'm going to see if this fits on there. That doesn't fit on there. What about this? Okay. So, this right here, this doesn't fit directly on here. It fits directly on there, but I'm sure once I put the ink in there and I try to just squirt it in there, it's going to go everywhere. So, this here, I'm trying to show y'all, is a better fit. I could just put it inside that hole and it'll sit there. So that's how I think we're going to use it. So let's get to it. Okay, so here's my inks. I guess we're going to start with the blue. And I don't think I need to put that on. And the printer is still off. It should be a quick video, I'm assuming. just gonna take my syringe I'm gonna stick it in the ink you know what I kind of want to put on some gloves because this seems kind of messy I don't know what I'm doing first of all but we're gonna make it work so let me put on these gloves I re recommend gloves because it's ink or chemical still ink is chemical so you want to always wear gloves when you're dealing with chemicals Okay, so I put on the gloves and I put the ink inside and I'm just going to put that on the bottom and I'm going to stick it in one of the holes. I'm just going to go slow for now only because I don't know. just splatter it in there oh it's feeling and it feels pretty fast okay so that one needle did almost half let me see if I can lead a okay I can lead a needle on there and do it as well so I'm just gonna fill it all the way up Ooh, see that that's the reason why I said do not go fast cuz I just made a boo-boo I don't have any paper towels 
or napkins around. So give me a second. Okay, y'all. So I cleaned it up. I just took a piece of paper towel and kind of like um, folded it to clean it up. But um, it was bubbles in it. And the bubbles caused a lot of pressure while putting the ink in. And it, and it was starting to um, pull out too fast. So that's why I said kind of when you put the ink in, don't push down too fast. Go slow. You know what? I'm about to. But for the most part, I filled it up. It's not um, completely filled. It's on that um, the line before the filling that y'all see. Y'all can see. So that one is almost filled. We're gonna, I'm just going to let that one drip. And while that one drips, I'm just going to go and start on the next one. I probably would advise you all not to shake it up so it won't have any bubbles. And it might be maybe be best not to even use the, um, the little extra part until you suck all the um, stuff up. Because the first time I put it in without this being on there, it went kind of quick. So, let's see. Just kind of put it in there. See, that one's just going down on its own. I'm barely having to push it. I'm applying little to no pressure. I'm feeling this one. So, I don't know why it started bubbling and making a mess. So, I'm just going to take this back off again. And I just will refill it again. I think it's less bubbles when you do it this way, but we're gonna find out. Put it in there. Now I brought some paper towels because that's why I say we're going to just this mess. I don't know if everybody else is this messy when doing it, but. I see that it is kind of, um, I don't know what it's doing. Why is it wanting to fill up pretty fast and it's not even full? I'm trying to look, I can't, my hand keeping in the way. The first one goes in easy. So the first um, time you use this thing, it goes in easy. Now after that, I don't know why I keep like you want to overfill or. Okay, so I, that one is full to its max. And you can kind of see that it's darker now. So we're done with that color. Just going to put in how much deal left. So I guess, depending on how quick this ink leaves out, it may be a good buy. Okay. So you all seen... I'm just gonna record it and then I'll time lapse it and I'll delete some just so I can see and I can also have a record of how much of each one I used. This one is kind of, I don't even look kind of weird. I don't know if that one is full anymore because now that it's sitting there, as y'all can see, you can probably see it as we're sitting here, it's right here on this line now. I thought it was way up there, but as it sits, it goes down, so I may need to get more. I just don't wanna do too much, but what is too much? I want to feel it because they say once you feel it, you don't have to feel it for a long time. So, I do want to feel it. I'm just wiping this excess stuff off so it won't be dripping all inside this machine. Okay. I'm trying to see if I'm making a mess here, y'all. Because I really don't know what I'm doing. Do one at a time. I just started doing two because I didn't know. But so I guess this. Let me let y'all see because I don't know what I'm. I'm just trying to clean up because, like I said, some of that ink is running off. I don't know what's happening. It looks like it's full because the ink keeps splattering on the um on the walls of this thing, so it makes it look like it's full, but it's not. Okay, y'all. I'm back. I got the blue in, the reddish pink, whatever color it is, and the um yellow. I use five of these tubes for the yellow, which is 10 milliliter tubes, so 50 milliliters. And the yellow is, is probably the fullest out of all three. I don't, re I don't remember. I use either four or five on each one of these as well. But this is what I have left, and they are almost completely full. Now I just have to do the black, and I'm sure that I will use all the black. The next one is black. And this took some time because I think I recorded already for about 20 minutes and I know that I was off recording for another maybe 10 or 15 minutes. I also got up to wash my syringes because I did pay um quite a bit of money for just these syringe and I guess they little cart thing right here that I'm never going to use. So I don't know what type of cart that is. I probably should send it back. But I know I can't send it back. It's fine. But I will be keeping these syringe because I feel like they could be reused. Um, I, I wrenched them out so that the ink won't be in them or settle in them. 
and I'm letting them sit and air dry on a paper towel, the three that I've already done. And so now this is the last one, which when I'm finished with this one, I would also rinse it as well. Yeah, I'm wiping because this um ink is real liquidy and I don't want it to get in the inside. Well, it's really not getting in the inside of the printer. It's a little dead right there, but I don't want it to waste in there still. I just want the ink to go directly where it's supposed to go. So This is moving pretty quick. This tank is bigger. It looks like it's already full, but it's not. Once the ink actually reaches down, it's going to be way down there. So I know the black, I will probably have to buy more ink. Ooh. Yes, I am wasting ink too. Oh, that's all right. I just prefer to have ink wasted on this napkin then. All in this machine. I'm going to um, attempt to do sublimation on something. I don't know yet what. I was going to try to bring up a design so y'all can actually see me print something. Which I may. I just don't know what I'm going to bring up yet. I have so many projects in mind that I want to do. And just haven't got to them because I've been busy doing other stuff. Or just be busy being lazy. This one kind of going in a little smoother. No bubbles. You must watch for bubbles though. Well, you don't have to if you want to miss everywhere, but look at all this ink I got everywhere. So, that's why I decided to put on these glues, because I knew I was going to end up with a mess when I got the little ink on me. And using a paper towel is not necessary. Like I said, I just do it because I put it in this thing, so just like polish it a drip. And I want it to... So far. So good. Now I heard that the original cans that it come with, the for regular ink, it's easy to put in. But we're not using it, so I'm not going to really talk about that. It's black doing well. But I've already been on black for six minutes, so as y'all can see, it takes some time to feel. Probably even if you don't do my little extra wiping off step, but... This is almost gone. Y'all probably can't see it, but it's almost gone. Which I kind of felt like we would use the whole bottle of black anyways because the storage ink compartment is bigger for black. Yep, almost out. Big bubble, if y'all can see it or not. Let me let y'all see. That's why I be trying to watch for those bubbles to be popping up. That's fine. I'm always moving the thing instead of zooming in. Oop. I'm just looking at a bigger angle. Yeah, see all of that's bubbles, so I'll take this out. It's all air. And if I lay it to go around, it's probably nothing. the last one y'all it's got a lot of bubbles in it i'm sitting up here looking at it i'm probably not gonna use it i don't know if it'll make a difference of how much ink i have with all them bubbles well at least it got it to the um top line it's not completely full but it's on the line before full so you gotta take this out because it's too many bubbles okay it ain't nothing in there anyway it's just a lot of bubbles and this is empty so i just want to be in the trash there's nothing in there. Okay, okay, and as y'all can see, he's just having me to set it up. So, I guess I'll be doing another video on my first, my first print. Y'all can see that I have. Thank you all for watching, and make sure you all watch the, my other videos that'll be coming up soon, and the ones that I already have. Like, comment, subscribe, share my video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you. Y'all have a good day, a blessed day.